today, we will be comparing two creatures of the animal kingdom, the North American Grizzly Bear and the Silverback Gorilla. Let's start by taking a look at the North American Grizzly Bear. Although grizzly bears are mostly solitary creatures, with the exceptions of mothers to their cubs, they do tend to congregate, especially during the Alaskan salmon run. Let's take a look. This may seem like a losing battle for the salmon, but for everyone that gets caught, there are still hundreds making it by. A grizzly bear's diet consists mostly of nuts, fruits, berries, and roots, although they do eat meat, from as small as rabbits to as large as a moose. Their physical characteristics consist of a lifespan of about 25 years, an average height of 5 to 8 feet, and an average weight of about 800 pounds. Their front paws are only about 13 centimeters by 14 centimeters, with their hind paws being about 25 centimeters by 14 centimeters, not to mention their large claws. These bears have 42 teeth and are the only large mammal that regularly eats plants and meat. There are now only about a thousand grizzly bears remaining in the continental U.S. and are protected by law, while there are over 20,000 in Canada and over 30,000 in Alaska. Let's move on to examine the silverback gorilla. The silverback gorilla is at the top of the list in primates. If you think he looks like one of your friends, that's because we share about 98% of our genes. The silverback gorilla has exclusive feeding rights, rights to females, and mediates disputes. He also decides when the group eats, sleeps, and wakes up. Gorillas are mostly peaceful creatures, although brutal battles do break out between silverbacks in competition for groups of females. Here, the smaller male decided to flirt with the larger silverback's mate. This was not a good idea. Luckily, he got off with only a warning this time. Gorilla spotting techniques are much like that of humans, with many punches, only their punches are much more efficient, with their arms being nearly the entire length of their body. Here we have a baby gorilla enjoying its meal of fresh vegetation. A gorilla's diet consists of mostly plants, seeds, tree bark and flowers, and occasionally termites or ants. Gorillas rarely have to drink water because there is enough in their diet to sustain them. On two legs, gorillas stand about five and a half feet tall and weigh between three and four hundred pounds. They usually live to be about 35 years old in the wild. Gorillas' hands are much like that of our own, having five fingers, one being an opposable thumb, and five toes, one being an opposable big toe. This gives them a great advantage over the other animals. roughly only 50,000 gorillas in Africa remaining in the wild today. Now for the question that everyone is asking, in a fight between a North American grizzly bear and a silverback gorilla, who would win? Let's see what kind of training each opponent is going through. Here's what happened in last week's fights. The 
the Bears really used those powerful jaws to subdue their opponent. Here it comes. See the larger bear spinning around, getting low for the takedown, and boom goes the dynamite. The bears really use those large claws. Here's the gorilla's fight, which I believe is more of a domestic dispute. It seems some of his girlfriends may have gotten mad, but we can still see his large strength and size compared to the other gorillas and how he uses it. My vote is with the North American Grizzly Bear, but until it can be proven, you decide.